We're back from the desert. Welcome to Sweetheart's Arrivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on the table today? Targi. Targi. Yep. Which is a two-player game. Mm -hmm. It takes about an hour. Yep. And it's good for ages 13 and up. Yeah. So somewhere on the screen, there should be a link right about now that will take you to our overview so you can see how it plays. Yep. Uh, and a full playthrough. Right. Which we just finished. Because we did both. Yeah, and I won't tell you who won. <laughs> so, Targi. Um, what do you think of the components of Targi? I like the components because we have cute little wooden meeples, yep. which I like. Yeah. These are supposed to represent huts. Yep. So they could have been triangles or something, but spheres are... It works. Cylinders are, are fine. Yep. And these little goods are... Good little chits. Yep. And the cards are a little on the flimsy side, but that doesn't matter because you don't have to shuffle them a whole lot. Nope. Um, the board is very interesting because it's not a board at all. It's another deck of cards that gets laid out mm -hmm. piece by piece. Yep. Which is interesting. Yep. Yeah. What do you think about the strategy of Targi? Uh, Targi is chock full of strategy and tactics and luck. And blocking your opponent. Ah, uh, it's awesome. So... Um, every round you're going to have a setup of tribe cards and good cards and of course you don't know what goods or tribes are going to come out um, and they're going to shift every round so there's that luck. Uh, then the tactics are every round it's going to change and as you're putting out your targies um, you are keeping people uh, from going places. So because I'm gone here Charlotte can't go there. Um, because I've gone here and here, she can't go there and there. So. And then this robber moves every round, yeah. so you can't go where the robber is. So a lot of really good tactics on where do I go to get the best thing every round, which is really good. And then there are certain tribe cards, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get this tableau of your tribe cards. And certain ones will be like, this one, pay one fewer goods to play additional Targi cards. So that makes it cheaper for me to get those kind. Um, some of them are, what's one of yours? The salt one? At the end of the game, score one victory point for every two well cards. So then that's going to drive Charlotte's strategy to get as many of these well cards as possible. Mm -hmm. So And see how it didn't work? Yeah, it didn't yeah. work, but still. But then there's, there's also ones there. where you can get extra goods, which will help you with extra cards. Yeah. So it's a really, really good blend of all three. Mm -hmm. um, and they work really good together. And if you can get some good synergies... Mm. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. So it it's it's awesome. I love I love the 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 how well all three of them work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Uh, what about the complexity? How difficult is it to play? It's not difficult to play. Um, if you watch the playthrough, you'll see I have a difficulty noticing when I'm blocked. <laughs> yeah. But that's because I get so focused on the card that I want in the middle. I just mm -hmm. go for. It. I yeah. just oh that's the one I want. Yeah. No, you're blocked. Oh, not again. Because once once somebody puts a target say here nobody can put a targi on the opposite side right so that's you're kind of blocking that whole row mm -hmm. sort of um so that part's yeah. a little you have to watch out for yeah. it and, and then get used to it once all three targies are out what you do is you look for where they kind of intersect and that's where you put your huts out right so and mine would yeah. have been here and here and sometimes i'll be putting targies out blocking and going and then afterwards i'll put my huts out and i was like that's not where I wanted my huts to go at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just that little bit there is a little complex, but that is the base mechanism of the game. Right. So mastering that. That once you have that down pat, yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah. But the rest of it, um, the setup, the rules, mm -hmm. the difficulty, not complex. Even the special whatsoever. abilities aren't too difficult. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Awesome. Easy to follow. Yeah. Um, How do you find the playability? The playability is excellent. Um, there's this theme where you're going out into the desert and you're trying to find resources and different things like oasises and wells and, and other targia and huts and you're trying to bring those into your tribe. So it's I, it, I like it. It's, it's this nice blend of me mechanisms and theme. Mm -hmm. um, it works really well. Uh, I like the robber going around the circle and he's blocking things off and every now and then he does a raid. That's kind of cool. So you yeah. got to kind of prepare for that. Um, it's only a two player game and it actually is a longer two player game. Like the, the 60 yeah. minutes, it, it usually takes about an hour to play it. 
And you know what? I never feel like it's 60 minutes. No. Like, when I read the box and I'm like, 60 minutes? No, it never takes us that long. But mm. I guess we'll see, like, on the playthrough how long yeah. it really took us. But And it doesn't it doesn't feel like it because you're like, okay, I'll put my target in. You put your target in and mm-hmm. do this. And like, yeah, you stay yeah. really involved in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when the robber gets all the way around to the very last card and you have that last raid, the game is over. Unless you have filled uh, your display. And we have never made it there. No. So the gameplay goes super quick. And uh, even though it's a long game, it, it's, you don't feel like there's a lot of downtime at all. Uh, and there's, for replayability, um, you're playing with the same tribes, the same cards, but there's a nice good deck of tribes here. Yeah, it's not all of these come out. Yeah, yeah, not all of those come out. Um, and because you get better and better at it, and there is such a great... Um, number of decisions like oh do I go here do I go there oh did I just get blocked that kind of stuff it, the replayability of this is I'm it's finding not necessarily the components that would make it like replayable? the replayable yeah are the decisions that happen because of what happens yeah on the board absolutely and again trying to master um, that main mechanic of placing your target down getting the best things and blocking at the same time just that where I just I want to play again because I know I'm going to get better mm-hmm. I want to play it again because I know I'm going to get better yeah. yeah and you never know which cards are going to come out and how they're going to work together in your tableau yeah. so sometimes yeah. you might not get the good ones that let you get you know 12 to my yeah whatever it was yeah absolutely and I mean I've got my full display but you managed to get like th- was it three in your display on your last turn I can't remember if it was two it was or two three. It was two or three. It was two for sure, but I yeah. can't remember if it was three as well. And then while I was getting all these cards, there's other strategies you can follow. Like you were using a lot of your goods, because you were getting a lot of goods. Mm-hmm. I was always short on goods. But you are using the silversmith to get yourself a lot of victory points. And I mean, yeah, I only beat you by two points. Right. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. So, does it have the awesomeness or the cuteness? I would have to say this game is more awesome than cute. Awesome! <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's nice and all the art's good and it fits the theme of the game, yep. but it's not cutesy at all. No. And but, I mean, even with the theme and the art, it's not like, oh, that picture is awesome. Like, it doesn't draw you into any kind of, like, awesome, like, there's no, like, battles or anything mm-hmm, like that. Like, nothing right. like that awesomeness there. But it's definitely awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The mechanics and the skill necessary to win this game make it awesome. Right. Yeah. And there are people out there that sell things to make the game way cuter, too. Yes. Which we saw and which we drooled over online, but... It's expensive. Right. (laughs) All right. So, um, how would you rate the game? I would have to say this game is outstanding. Outstanding. Absolutely. I would have to say that this game is probably one of the best two-player games I've played in a long yes, time. Yes, absolutely. Um, we haven't played Netrunner in quite a while. Which, that is It's a two-player game. On our and we do list. enjoy it. Yeah. Um, until we get into it, that could change things. But right now, Targi is my favorite two-player game, like, by far. Mm-hmm. Um, we have some really good two-player games that I enjoy. But Targi, when it hits the table, I get a big grin on my face. Like, all right, we're playing Targi. <laughs> Excellent, well, outstanding. Just like I said, you get so involved in the mm. game, and the time flies right by, and yeah. you have to make those decisions. Like, and it's not a game where you can get a strategy and just ho hum it all the way through. Mm. You gotta wing it by the seat of your pants because yep. you never know what the other person's gonna block you with. Yeah. So you can't plan anything. You're just like, I'm gonna get blocked, so I just have to pick the best of what I have left over. <laughs> Uh, but outstanding game. it's such Love a it. good game you don't even care that that happens to you mm. or I don't anyway no nope. not at all yeah. always ways to change up your strategy uh, for my display here I was going for a full set of wells and I was going for a full set of one of each different kind of card and I basically came down to I can either keep going and give Sharla more opportunities to fill out her display and try to get those cards which she'll always block me on or I can just get these really good cards forego a couple of bonus points and end the game now right so again lots of great decisions a really awesome mesh of mechanics um gameplay and skill that make it a great game Mm -hmm. um did we finish as sweethearts or rivals rivals yeah (laughs) definitely 
So some games in the past, you've said that it doesn't last long enough for you to get into that rivalry. Would you say that Targi does last long enough? Yes, to really... it, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very little downtime, and yes, it's a long game, but it gives you enough time to really get into that. Well, and you can keep an eye on what you're doing. Because, I mean, what you're doing is going to affect what I'm doing. So, of yep. course, I'm going to keep an eye on what you're doing. Yeah. So, every time you block me, I want to block you. <laughs> like, it's always a tug of war. Yes. So, that's Targi. Outstanding game. Definitely would recommend it. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? That's it from me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>